welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave uh, Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. In today's video, I'm going to discuss the smaller time frame uh, analysis on gold. I will not be discussing larger time frame analysis on gold. Uh, so I will give some uh, smaller time frame setup. I'll also be discussing Dow Jones and we'll have a look at uh, US oil as well. So if you're interested in the next few days, next about five to uh, 10 days so basically this week and the next week is very very uh, crucial for gold if you are interested in looking the full picture of the gold uh, you can visit me on my patreon page which is patreon.com forward slash Elliot wave green uh, so let me I'll put it I'll be trying to put that in the description as well but let me put that over here as well uh, let's go quickly and then you can turn that to this and then I can quickly go and then say okay so patreon.com forward slash Elliot wave green okay let me check out so you can visit me uh, for a full analysis of gold the next few and silver as well the next few days are tremendously important for uh, actually next two weeks are tremendously important for the prices of gold and silver there you'll be able to see where the uh, today's uh, small time frame analysis actually sits in so first of all we'll have a quick look on gold and then we'll uh, look at Dow Jones and we'll, uh, look at uh, US oil as well let's mean go to the chart that I was uh, especially drawn for you guys okay and um, that's not the chart I hope that's the chart yeah that's the chart first of all uh, the chart is in front of you guys and I'm asking you guys to label it if you can uh, label this whole price movement from this one to this one then it's a nice challenge and the reason today I'm sh sharing this analysis is to I want to spot something so if you can label from this whole chart uh, that will be really amazing all right so here's my answer first of all uh, the most important pattern I wanted to put a uh, point out towards is that uh, first of all everybody probably can see one wave second wave third wave fourth wave and fifth wave uh, whether it's a leading diagonal or ending diagonal that's point to be discussion uh, you can definitely find that out uh, on my analysis where will I'll be telling the full time the longer term analysis but this starting from the whole point I wanted to bring that today is that starting from this bottom to this one is is very very challenging It's unconventional pattern uh, unbookish way of looking at double three a pattern what you would call double three so I believe that we have seen a, a basically a zigzag and we have seen a zigzag as a correction and then we have seen a, a flat correction from life forming like this so as you guys are aware of it we are right now very close to the double top forming with this one and double and triple top forming this one with you have one top right over here and one top right over here and one top right over here so you can consider that as head and shoulder pattern as well on that degree the neckline is of course not ideal uh, it does not the look is not very ideal for head and shoulder pattern so I would I would consider it as a zigzag a correction and an, uh, a flat cor uh, correction so that means the ultimate a price that's going to happen in a smaller time frame at least is going to go down how far it's going to go down and what's happening after the day after that that's a very very important question and as I said the next two weeks are very very crucial uh, for the price of gold and silver uh, there is a possibility that we are going down and completing a five wave structure starting from top or we are completing a zigzag starting from top all of that what structure is uh, it, it is actually from the top and what other points are is very very crucial for what next two weeks are and I've already discussed the analysis on my patreon page and I've had that uh, marketing uh, let's have a go look uh, at the Dow Jones so I've done some research on on Dow Jones and um, uh, not on a larger time frame not on a smaller time frame I've done some uh, of the analysis on that and things are really really worrying really really worrying uh, the thing is that what is giving to me right now is that it looks to me that we are very very close to forming a top and if uh, and we are very very close to forming not a small time frame top it looks like that we are gonna go down whenever the decline starts we're gonna go down for next three to four years at least it looks like and you, if you look at the fundamental factors every time the uh, stock market crashes US uh, 
uh, government puts a lot of money in the stock market and then we have not seen actually a sustained uh, bearish market uh, since 1929 basically uh, so we have seen small corrections sm in terms of time period I'm talking about not in terms of price decline or the points decline I'm talking about in terms of p time period uh, because if it drops like 50 percent it comes back in six months it's not a big deal or even a year but if stays down for a longer period of time let's say three four years down then that affects the regular man the person who is actually irrelevant of the the stock market and the regular nine to uh, five job gets gets affected a lot of uh, deflation occurs and uh, it slows down the economy so bad that a lot of people have to fail down on their mortgages a uh, lot of bad debts happen you can I don't have to repeat that you can visit 1929 and there was slowdown of 10 years and the whole slowdown was such drastic that people had to sell their uh, belongings to just get food for one time so uh, I hope that my analysis is wrong in that regard I hope that we don't face those crucial times that I'm I'm fearing that probably are ahead of us but we have seen stock market go up and up and the amount of money that has been created in last uh, last year alone in US is unbelievable so that gives me an indication that this time if stock market follows uh, if, if it crashes and that's what the analysis is giving us too that the stock market is going to go down then it looks to me that stock market is going to stay down for a while and it's very very bad news for uh, uh, for basically a common man so first of all I'm looking this whole structure as wave 1 and then wave 2 I'm not going to discuss the previous structure but I'm looking this whole as wave 1 and wave 2 and I'm discussing this uh, as 3 right over here and we have seen actually 3 right over here or 3 right over here yeah 3 right over here and then we have seen the deeper wave and then we have seen proper 5 wave and structure right over here so I'm considering this because the uh, the depth depth we have seen right over here and the second depth followed after it it only means two things and by that I mean let me have a look by that I mean how what do they mean to that the correction started from over here we have a b c a flat correction we have seen a zigzag correction and this is the third lag so we can consider a three wave structure three wave structure and a five wave structure that means that stock market is going to go really high uh, however the underlying data and the underlying study is telling me completely different that the uh, mid of third wave uh, the is completed right over here out we have wave one uh, wave 2 of this 3 and then we have wave 4 of wave 3 and then we have wave 5 of 3 and then we have wave uh, 4 of 3 and 5 of 3 sorry so let me quickly label that so that can give you some idea so 1 2 uh, 3 4 and then the 5 so what happens is that every time uh, wave 4 comes to us then the support is becomes tremendously important tremendously important And here we have seen that this is the completion of 5 wave structure right from this bottom. Then wave 4 of a higher degree that is of this degree has come around in this area. And then we have seen price going up right over here. And this deep price correction is indicating that this price hole is probably over. You can again once again debate that this is wave 1 of uh, 5 wave, the 5th wave. This is wave 2 of 5th wave. And this is, uh, so it looks to me that's not going to happen. A lot of time when we see this behavior in a smaller time frame or a larger time frame then the news are not really great uh, so on my own patreon page uh, on the weekend video that I posted I shared that we are looking probably uh, for a price to reverse and that was before today's before Monday occurred so so far we have seen that there is this possibility that we are considering this as a smaller degree wave 1 and a smaller degree wave 2 and looks like there we are ready getting ready to go down further uh, so be really careful that's what my analysis is giving to me right now especially if this break uh, this support breaks which is uh, 33,400 points right now if that breaks that'll be a confirmation that we have created the top and the so we're gonna stay there for a good while let's have a look at uh, US oil as well last time we visited US oil the prices unfortunately have not moved the way we thought I was expecting that this is going to be wave A this is wave B and this is wave C and then we're going to go down so since we look we can see that the, the, that has not exactly happened 
uh, on a four hourly chart we can see that we have a shoulder forming on this right over here so the same shoulder level comes around, around 76.38 I've dropped down the percentage uh, tool right from the top and this is right around 62.5 percent if you look over the and uh, the pattern recognition we can see that we can easily label this whole structure is as wave A and wave B and wave C and then we have wave A, B and C so a couple of things are possible at this moment either the price will go up straight away uh, right from over here either price is going to go up right from over here giving us an indication that another zigzag, zigzag is probably completing uh, that will be completion of double zigzag the first zigzag correction the double zigzag and that will be indication that we are heading down. I am bearish on US, uh, US oil and I have indicated that that I am considering this whole drop from the previous support as very important. So on my previous analysis about US oil I have already discussed that I am considering this whole price movement as wave A, wave B and wave C and, and the previous decline that we have seen in, uh, in US oil I am considering this as wave A, B and C basically W and this is A, B and C uh, X and then I'm expecting that we are going to be bearish on US oil for next few years to come that's what my assertion on a longer time frame analysis is uh, we have broken this very important support line uh, the horizontal support has come back and given has some support right over here prices have definitely reflected off one thing to remember very important is that trends always always move between support and resistance so for a bearish price movement we can consider this as a resistance right over here right now prices are trying to find support and as soon as the support comes in I guess the bearish price movement that actually started from $85 uh, is gonna go and continue go down so this is the larger picture let's have a look on a four hourly chart I already discussed that I'm considering this price movement as wave one and two and three and four so wherever the wave four is complete we can discuss that we have completed wave one right over here considering this as a small leading diagonal so one two three four and five or we can consider that we have completed basically one and a correction and a two and a three or a two right over here and a three and a four so basically the point is right now that we have completed at some point the uh, impulsive structure and a corrective structure is believe and we have seen the strength as well so there is a possibility that we are still going through the correction and as soon as the correction is complete we are heading down the point being is I'm looking toward the whole price movement down as impulsive and the bullish price action as corrective on hourly time frame first of all I gave you guys that there is a possibility that we are going to see this come this and go do this so that will be a double zigzag uh, at around 50% the second possibility is that we have seen uh, only one part of the correction right over here this is going to be the second part of the correction and we are going to see third part of the correction uh, when that correction has happened then we are going to see a stronger zigzag price action probably prices taking prices to 76.38 in that case as soon as that uh, left shoulder support is uh, going to come back right over here right shoulder support uh, this is left shoulder and then right shoulder support comes back in and this is also the support structure from the previous drop as well and when that comes in that will be an indication that we are going down the point here is that I'm considering right now the price movement as uh, bearish on a larger time frame this support the blue line support is very important you guys can see right from over here so if this region gets broken which is around 68 to 69 dollar if this region gets broken easily that will be an indication that we probably have completed the correction upward be really really careful when you are taking uh, a stop loss in this area because there's a chance that the correction that started from here is yet not complete uh, I'm bearish on a small time frame on gold uh, and bearish on silver on a small time frame so if you are interested to say where exactly the two weeks are going to take the prices it's a very very interesting juncture I would uh, expect you to uh, visit on patreon.com forward slash Elliot wave green let me show if uh, once again where the right over here you can visit this channel right over here uh, this website and then you'll be able to see my larger time frame analysis and where the prices are expected to be heading uh, for now uh, is I'm only putting $99 and I have uh, not only shared gold and silver I've also shared my analysis on gold silver uh, euro uh, British pound US oil and uh, Dow Jones as well so you can have a look in there wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye